Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. Um, today, we're going to be talking about newborn, is, newborn essentials. Our friends from Parenting Emporium, Marcel and Bang, um, sent yes. Nurse Chrissy and Dr. David to teach us and give me a refresher course on newborn essentials. So the first things we'll be talking about is pump. When you breastfeed, um, how do you take care of the pump? We'll be talking about what to do when the baby comes home and you're stuck with the baby's umbilical cord. <laughs> we'll also be talking about how to swaddle the baby so you can soothe the baby after um, she's crying or whatever. And of course, my the most complicated part is bathing. I until now I have three well, going on three kids, and I still don't know how to bathe my baby. Um, and lastly, we'll be discussing on how to wear your baby. Baby wearing is actually one of the most beneficial ways of handling your baby only because they're secure plus um, it's a very good way of keeping the bond intact. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the Medela breast pump. Okay, so I breast, I breastfed Asher exclusively. Um, I did direct and a lot of the times I was not a stay-at-home stay -home mom. So I was um, doing a lot of schoolwork and a lot of other things. So I used the Medela pump, which is the best thing ever. But I still don't, I still forgot, I forgot on how to, how to use it, like how to take care of it. Like, am I supposed to wash this? Yeah. Uh, the tube? Yeah. The only thing that goes to the tube. The tubes are in. Okay. So you don't really need to wash it. Okay. Okay. So for so long as you keep it clean, you okay. have it as a clean pass, no need to wash it. You just need to wipe the outside. You wash this and then you put this in the sterilizer. All the hard parts. Okay. okay. And then this one you dip in warm water. Okay. And then you, pull every, you put everything out to air dry. For on the go mommies, yeah. um, how long will the breast milk last? Let's say I'm at work or I'm in an event, next pump, how long will it last? Okay, at room temperature, uh, the maximum is usually six to eight hours okay. in an air conditioned room. Let's say you're under the sun two to four hours. Okay. So let's say um, you're gonna feed your baby tomorrow, the milk is asleep, you pull from your freezer, you put in your rest. And then from the rest, you put it out. Of the okay. Okay. Now we're gonna be talking about how to take care of the umbilical cord. You are the baby. <laughs> okay. And the things that you'll need is alcohol, cotton, and Q-tips. So, Doc, can Doc David, can you tell me or tell everyone else what we need to do when we take care of the baby's umbilical cord? Right. So when baby comes out, the umbilical cord is still connected to the baby. Um, we want to keep that clean um, as long as it's attached to the baby okay. because it might cause some infection if you don't keep it clean. Okay. So what do we do? Um, we want to let it dry, air dry as much as possible. So when you um, put on the diaper, you can try to fold the upper part of the diaper. So you fold the diaper down. down. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. But if you keep it um, covered, it might not dry as quickly. Okay. So once you're um, good with that, then you can you have two options. You can clean it with alcohol and cotton or cut few tips. Or okay. some mothers will, will just. Um, so, do you pour the alcohol, alcohol on top of the umbilical cord? Uh, nope. No, we okay. just put on the cotton balls or on the Q tips. Okay, the cotton balls here. So, you just put the, the alcohol in the cotton or the Q tips. And then you will Here's just okay. um, clean the base of the umbilical cord um, okay. around one to two times a day. If it does get infected, what do we do? Um, go to your doctor or call your, call your doctor because the baby might need antibiotics. Okay. Or might be admitted at the worst case scenario. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't go. Okay. okay. Another newborn essential is baby swaddling. I think it's the best way to soothe your baby. Here's Dr. David again to teach us how to properly swaddle the baby. So welcome to Swaddling 101. So we can we have two a few options for the swaddle. You can use the one with the foot, or sometimes some swaddles we don't have a foot. Yeah, they have the muslin also, right? Yeah, muslin. So um, I think you're more expert on that. <laughs> so how do we start the swaddling? Um, we lay the uh, towel on, on the table, put the baby in the middle. Okay. So if the swaddle has a hood, uh, that would be the top part. If there's no hood, you have an option of folding the top part to help support the neck of the baby. Right. So once you have um, the swaddle prepared, we usually start with the arms. Okay. You can start right or left. Okay. Up your option. Um, so we start first with the left arm. Okay. So you fold um, up the swaddle up to the armpit of the baby, and the armpit will help um, keep it uh, in place. Okay. Then on this edge, you um, cover the baby up, and then you will tuck it on, uh, on, on the baby's back. After that, you will tuck the uh, bottom part, and then you 
can fold the bottom part of the first fold and fold okay. the area. After that, the next corner will be again on to the armpit, baby's armpit. Okay. And then the baby's armpit will keep that in place. And then the other edge, you will uh, cover the whole baby and tuck it up to the back of the baby. Now you will have the magnifying. Wait! I have a new and improved one. What about it? What do you think about this Halo sleep sack? Oh, it's really a good option, especially um, you don't have to keep on folding everything um, okay. for the baby. Okay. It just fits into the baby, just yes. lift it up, uh, and you're good to go. And I think this is actually perfect when they sleep more than yeah. anything, right? So that they don't pre it prevents this um, sin, sudden infant death syndrome. Yep. Um, so yeah. uh, it's really nice, especially also if they yes. when they start picking, yes. and then the swaddle will just open up. Yes. So, um, so maybe they, during the day you could swaddle, yeah. and then at night maybe offer this. Hey, sleep sack. Believe it or not, after having two kids, I still don't know how to bathe my baby. I'm so scared because they're so tiny. It's a good thing Dr. David is here to teach us how to bathe our baby. These are the basics first. Mustela. And of course, we need the, what do you call it? the tub. And then it actually comes with an attachment. So you can actually get this in baby and company. Or mother care. And of course, our little baby. Okay. All right. So once the baby's umbilical cord has fallen off, then you can actually do tub bathing for the baby. Um, we've prepared all of our materials. We have our tub, um, the soap, and our um, towel after. All right. Um, so we want the water to be lukewarm. Okay. Um, so once everything's prepared, I usually just need to fill the tub with uh, a half amount of water okay. just to be able to submerge up to the chest. Area. Okay. Um, we have two options. You can either put soap directly to the baby or you put soap onto the okay. water. So you can, um, if you're using mustela, you can do it directly. Okay. You can uh, scrub the head first. Okay. Um, and then after that, rinse it with the water. Okay. And the chest and the arms okay. and legs. Okay. Um, then you can cover the baby okay. with the towel so she, um, she won't get um, cold. Okay. Right. Um, so once you're ready, you can put soap. Um, you can okay. use a towel with uh, soapy water. Okay. okay. Put some soap directly. Then one, um, wipe the head gently okay. uh, up to the back. And the ears have to be protected, right? Um, we don't want to put too much water. Some um, caretakers fold the ears. Fold it, okay. Um, so you can fold it to cover the, the okay. opening of the ear to prevent water from okay. going inside. After that, uh, you can also wipe gently the face okay. uh, with a towel or with your hand. Okay. Uh, with soap and rinse after. Okay. So you can use the uh, uh, water in the tub to the head okay and then the sides of the face and eventually the next step. okay after that um, once you're good you can also wipe it uh, dry if uh, or you can just dip the baby back into the hey I'm so excited I can't wait to do it myself <laughs> thank okay. you doc okay. our last topic for today will be baby wearing uh, this is one of the things I cherish the most especially when I travel and when I want to move around with the baby here we are we have this the ring here correct and you put it around our neck. Yeah. Then we separate yeah. it like this. Is this correct? Yes. Yeah. And then this hand goes, yeah. goes yeah. out like that. Put it up yeah. under my belly. Yeah, so there. After Monday, it will be gone. <laughs> and then we put the baby in, correct? Support the neck. Over. You can either under under, 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 so I can just put it in the gut. Okay. The neck. And then I put it there. And then I put this one up. Yeah. That's correct? Yeah. Now you put the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Over your shoulder. Over my shoulder. Here. Yeah. Oh, and then support. So there. Yeah, and you just adjust until then we just adjust until Then you can put the band, the support band. It's really good to use. Like, so perfect! Like that. Also, it's an extra, extra support. So you have to have someone tied. Yeah. Here we go. And then the, you can check the baby. If you can kiss the baby's forehead, you're, that's a good uh, position, position to have. So there you guys have it, the newborn essentials for all new mommies out there. As well as reoccurring moms, uh, it's a refresher course for you. If you like my video, please don't forget to hit subscribe below or like it. And if you want any videos that you want me to focus on or if there are any topics that you want me to like release on my blog or vlog, please don't forget to comment or email me directly. 
Um, you can reach me at my blog, catarambolo.com, and on my Instagram, at catarambolo. Till next time, see you then. Bye!